I'm Gabriel Rene, CEO of Versus. I'm George Gilder. I run four newsletters and uh, writing books, Life After Capitalism, Life After Google, Life After AI. You'd say you're doing Web 3.0. I thought we were already in Web 3.0. <laughs> What's the matter with our existing ubiquitous web around the world? So the argument that, that we make is that what you, Web 3.0 is really when the web moves into the world and the semantics that they wanted to put on the web needed to be embedded onto the objects, you know, the people, yeah. places, and things in the environment. So that really ended up being about the convergence of all of these exponential technologies, yeah. which then we started to describe as the spatial web, meaning yeah. the web that moves into the spaces around us. We're flooded with uh, speculations and apocalyptic visions of of AI as we already have it in mm -hmm. ChatGPT, given the most probable token based on the history. What does Versus do in active inference do that breaks out of this mm -hmm. uh, uh, somewhat sclerotic mm -hmm. AI model that mm -hmm. is sweeping through the world yeah. by injecting random numbers. It imagines that human creativity is a random number generator. Right. And we are not random number generators. We're active inferencers. What Versus is trying to do is enable intelligent agents that are you know, smarter, safer, and more sustainable. They're smarter because of their ability to adapt to new information. And so you talk about you know, evolution and emergence happens at the edge. So any homogenized system that's trying yeah, to pick yeah. the, the most popular answers from the past is not gonna really um, drive that. Yeah. Secondly- Evolution happens at the edge. Evolution yeah. happens at the edge, right? And, and so Im importantly, what you need is a system that can be at the edge in all the different dynamic environments that might occur, not in a data center in Silicon Valley, yeah, right. but on the devices that you're operating. Or in Iceland, worse. Yeah, for yeah. yeah. And or up the Columbia River without a paddle. <laughs> exactly, which, which is where it feels like we might be going with the current approach. Yep. It cannot just be this sort of average, homogenized, yeah, one size fits all. That I would argue that that's a machine, and that the machine age began with machines printing, and ends with machine learning. Yeah. And what we're talking about with active inference agents is something new. So what, you got a, you got a number of paths. You got a protocol path, new industry standards, uh, new infrastructure. What, what uh, if I'm, uh, I wanna build a company that uh, builds on the new versus web. Yeah. Um, what what do I, what do you do? What are you giving yeah. me that uh, yeah. enables you need me to tools, do something right? yeah. miraculous and, and yeah. fruitful? So um, we're building a platform for developers called Genius, which is G Genius being beyond smart. We talk about smartphones, mm -hmm. smart cars, smart cities. <laughs> we want to make things beyond smart, things uh -huh. that continue to get smarter. That uh -huh. so the genius of nature sort of infused into technology. No big data, no giant compute architecture. Yeah. You don't need 40,000 NVIDIA computers to run these things. Yeah. And just like that, I think something you stated, going from the mainframe to the microchip, is sort of like versus is more like that, that Intel inside, yeah. right? Yeah. Instead yeah. of yeah. IBM, yeah. that's gonna be able to be put in every device where AIs can actually operate at the edge. What does that mean? A much larger total addressable market yeah. and way more significant value because that value then gets fine tuned to the devices and the environments and the users that it yeah. needs to work with. Eight billion users. Well, eight billion human users, but we're yeah. talking 100 billion IoT devices. Yeah, yeah, IoT, all right. Yeah. I, I hope Versus becomes the dominant form of, of what they call artificial intelligence, but really takes the artificial out of intelligence. Yeah. I mean, this is the whole idea that we're creating some artificial world that's somehow gonna dominate our human world is a misconception from the beginning. And you yeah. guys are transcending this in a moonshot that'll create a real world that is worthy for human beings to live in. Yeah, we wanna enhance and extend 
human capabilities. We don't want to build one giant smart thing that everyone has to tether to. We want to make people, places, and things smarter so that we all get smarter together, yeah. can tackle all the various challenges and problems we face today, but are also set up well so that future generations can continue to, you know, evolve these tools and, and the human race in, in a much better direction than I think has been laid out today. Here, here.